hello guys through here welcome to today's video so today's video is going to answer a question that i get quite often and that's the question of should you get a master's degree in computer science should you get a master's degree in computer science so if you've been kind of curious you're kind of on the fence um and you're kind of wondering yourself is it really worth it is it really worth it to go get a master's degree in computer science now this will be a very short video and i'm going to give my opinions about it i'm sure my opinions my surprise a lot of you guys that are watching this uh, because I am always all for education I am always all for education I feel that there's really no limit uh, to education now that's very different from saying I am all for schooling right there's a, there's a whole difference between uh, just supporting education and supporting paying thousands or hundreds of thousands of dollars to get diplomas now should you get uh, a master's degree in computer science the simple answer is it depends it just really really depends if somebody's asking me this question i would have to say it depends all right if you're considering this it depends i'm assuming that you already have if you're asking this question if you are asking this question you already have an undergraduate degree an undergraduate degree so you can either be in two camps at this point you have an undergraduate degree in a tech related field which is computer science or you have an undergraduate degree in a non-tech field which would be say accounting or or psychology or you know geology or something all right so you, you're either in one of these two camps now let's take the very first camp where you have or you have an undergraduate degree in an it field so your field in undergraduate is it so this could be uh say programming you know uh um, or even mathematics or any of the, or the kind of fields that relate to IT. So if you already have that in your undergraduate degree and now you're thinking about doing a master's and you're asking should you go for computer science, the reason why it's going to depend a lot and I can't give you a yes or no answer would be what is it you want to do with that, ma with that master's degree. If you're looking to build on what you did for undergraduate and then go on to say uh, work in academia or to do research or to move on to get a PhD all right then a computer science degree in that sense or in that case might make sense so uh, let's say you want to really do some specialized uh, uh, you know concepts and you know work on some strong PhD th uh, thesis uh, do some academic research or come back and be a professor sure computer science degree makes sense and the reason why it makes sense is Computer science, especially at the level of masters and beyond, tends to be very, very theoretical. All right, it tends to be very, very theoretical. So you're going into data structures, you go into algorithms, you go into very, very advanced uh, concepts um, that now are very theoretical. Not, no one is saying that they're not useful. They are useful, but again, they are they are theoretical. So that's one camp. Now the second scenario is you have. A degree that is not computer science for you from your undergraduate and you're thinking about uh, your master's degree uh, in that case I would say it's a little bit more fluid than the previous scenario because at that point you don't have any exposure to computer science or as much exposure to computer science yet so I'll be very curious why at that point if you don't have any exposure now you want to do your master's your master you're trying to do a master's in something that you don't even have undergraduate level exposure to it to me that's gonna be a little bit more challenging all right and the, the reason why I would find that challenging is because if you are doing that if you are doing that is because you're trying to maybe get a job at this point because I'll be hard-pressed for you to do something else in undergraduate say accounting or politics or law and then you come into masters and you want to do uh, a master's degree in computer science because you want to you know work in academia how you could there could be situations like that but for the most part i don't think that would be the motivation the motivation will probably be that uh you did something undergraduate you had a job for it a law, law accounting you came out you didn't really like what it is you're doing and you want to you're hearing about technology field and you want to get into tech and so you feel like well let me just go back and get a master's in computer science that way i can work in the tech field now that could be the calculation at least that's the calculation that i would tend to see the most now in that case the argument would be yeah maybe you don't really need a computer science degree just to get into the tech field all right maybe you don't really need that masters in computer science 
just to get in tech field. There are other degrees, there are other uh, things that you can do at the master's level that could still give you very relevant industry knowledge that is not a computer science degree. Software engineering as an example, all right? Uh, data management systems, there are, uh, or just even an MBA uh, with a little bit of slant towards uh, the tech side where you take a lot of tech electives could still be sufficient enough uh, for you. So now we have it on the table, the two options. What did you do for undergraduate? Was it tech related or non tech related? If it was tech related, all right, you should pursue or you could consider pursuing a master's again in computer science if you want to work in academia or do deep research. If that's not what you want, if you're looking to go into industry, I'll be hard pressed to see why you want to do a master's in computer science just to go in the industry. What people need is software engineering. What people need is data science. What people need is, um, is skills that you can apply and not theoretical concepts. All right. So in that case, uh, computer science might not be the smartest move to make. You might want to find, again, tech related systems or tech related uh, uh, um, programs at the master's level but not computer science. To me, in my book, computer science is really focused on the theory of it, like data structures, algorithms, system designs, and all of those things. That's really computer science, right? Software engineering, on the other hand, is more of the application of it. How do you take all these concepts and build a software that a company can use, or build an app that somebody can use, or design a database system, or design an infrastructure, or an architecture for a large company? To me, those are the applicable uh, areas I would focus on on the master's level that would apply to industry than diving into a hardcore computer uh, science degree. All right. So I will reserve computer science degree only if you really wanted to pursue academia or research or something that is very unique. But for the vast majority of people, and I know that's the motivation behind this question, I would think that, you know, um, a computer science degree, especially at the master's level, should not really be for you, right? If you if you really want to learn about algorithms and design, why do you have to pay that kind of money to get a master's degree just to learn that when you can learn it for free even on, on, on the internet or on, on YouTube or on platforms that are available online? So if learning is just your, just your motivation, you can learn it for free. Now, if you really want to get a master's, there are other fields that you can go to school for get a master's in that will be more applicable will be more useful than a computer science uh in my book if you're not looking to go towards academia for example again mba getting an mba degree master's in business administration could be very valuable one because it teaches you business uh so you're not just learning tech uh it teaches you business and then you can focus take it with a focus depending on the program or the school you go to with a focus on technology that could be very useful or well, some things like data science which is becoming very popular could be uh, something that you want to consider uh, feels like software engineering could be something that you want to consider uh, the database administration like masters in data management could be something that you want to consider right masters in technology leadership or things like that there are a lot of master's degree out there that you can consider that's not necessarily tied to or computer science all right guys i hope this helped that was just a question i got from somebody uh this again are my opinions and my opinions are all mine i hope it inspires you it maybe gives you some ideas to kind of think about as you're making those critical decisions master's degrees are not cheap they are expensive and not expensive just in, in terms of the money that you pay but expensive in terms of the time and even more expensive in terms of the opportunity cost right that's why a lot of people don't factor when they think about master's degree it's like oh yeah it's just a one-year program or just a two-year program i take it and i oh i'm just paying 30 grand or 40 grand and i'm done all right you gotta think about two years of your life what is that worth to you all right 40 grand uh in two years what else could you have done with that what is the opportunity cost start a business travel see the world invest in something else what are the other things you can do with that money so factor all of that into the equation before you dive in and make the decision that you're looking to make all right thanks for watching i hope this was helpful please like it if you like it leave a comment section below if you agree if you disagree i'll be more than happy to engage and to discuss with you guys this has been through i will see you in the next video